don't buy exactly what you need, buy a few more in case you break a few. Okay, so now that that problem is solved, we're back at our issue of the computer that will uh, that will boot, but that will not beep. So, what's the next step? After we've completely removed all of the RAM, all of the computer expansion cards, including video card, we've assured that nothing is connected to the outside of the computer, we've removed any connection to any component in the computer, including optical drives, uh, hard drives, things of this nature. All that we're left with is a motherboard with CPU, heatsink, fan, and a power feed from our power supply unit. Well, the next thing we can do is what's known as breadboarding, and that's what you're seeing right here. This is a breadboarding configuration. Essentially, what this means, breadboarding, is to physically remove the motherboard from the case. In fact, this is a useful um, tactic to, or a useful practice to take on when building a new computer for the first time to ensure that everything's working as intended before going through the trouble of installing everything in the case should something go wrong. So, essentially what you'll need is you'll need a non-conductive surface to work on. In this example, I'm using this cardboard box, which is not shiny. Very important, it's a not shiny cardboard. This is a non-conductive surface. I can place the motherboard directly on 